Ladies and gentlemen, the sun has now found its home in the western sky, and it is Saturday night in Tiger Stadium, home of the LSU Tigers, one of the great venues in college football. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see the number four team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on the 18th ranked team in the land, the LSU Tigers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pye. LSU will put a foot to it for the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. So Ole Miss offense takes the field. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys. And it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it. But it's just football. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stay in the race. And who can step up and handle the challenge, right? This is easily one of the toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a lot of eyeballs, David, on this game to find out who's mentally and emotionally the toughest. Yeah, and we're going to point to this game as we get later in the year and big decisions are made. You've got a top 25 win. You beat them in the middle of the season, X, Y, and Z. So these are big for the resume. The give to the back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Rebels will send out the punt unit. First one of the day is booted away. They ran him out there four times in the victory last week. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. The Tigers' offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, and that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Second down coming up. They try to pop a run on the draw. Continuing to turn and move it forward and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. He'll do it himself. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. These guys have really performed at a high level in SEC play, and the task is to try to keep this groove going. Yeah, when you start the season like this, man, this is exactly what you drew up. Win your conference. Be great in your conference. Get to the conference championship. I'm not putting the crop before the horse power, but great start. No doubt. To win the SEC is a long road. You know about that. I know about that personally. And they just got to take one game at a time. They've done an outstanding job of doing that this year. And the Rebels will line it up on first and ten. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. The Rebels in the hurry up. Dropping back, it's dark. 
Firing to the right, complete. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. And the Rebels have this offense rolling. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that one. The inside handoff. He has an extensive juke library, and he exhausted it and still didn't pick up much. Leaves it with the back. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Rebels will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide out in motion. Trying to get the edge with a quick touch pass. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. You know when you're playing against a defense of this caliber, you're going to have to have some sort of balance, right? You can't just drop back and throw it every single play. Nothing going on that last run. They're going to have to find another way to get it going, handing the ball. Feeling some heat. And this offense coming out slow, man. It's kind of frustrating because you had that bye week last week. What do you do? You go back and self-scout. Look at yourself. What can I do better? And then you come out in the, in the first quarter and you're not playing great out the gates. they got to find themselves in a little rhythm, knock off some of that bye week rust. And the punt hits at the six and they can't down it and it'll be a touchback. Off the play fake on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Wells. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. They'll throw it on first down. Gets it out quickly. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. And the Rebels headed quickly to the line. Last time these two got together, it was a tight one, Jesse. It seems like every time these two teams play, the game just feels faster, right? Because it is a rivalry game. There's just a greater sense of urgency when we see these teams match up. Yeah, the fans feel it. They know it. There's so much to it. They think about it all year long. When you talk about the next game on the schedule, they're always looking forward to this one. Caught in the backfield, it's Zimmerman. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Back to throw, it's dark. Getting some heat. Pressure is effective from the defense. They knock him down just behind the midfield stripe at the 48. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. The Rebels will call on their punt team. He'll try to really get into this one. Punt goes out of bounds, and a really nice job as they stick them deep in their own end. They'll mark it around the 10. From the gun, he leaves it with the bat. Never underestimate the power of moving forward and creating breathing room as they mark it at the 17. 
on the option. Quick toss. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. A tremendous run. He was full bore after taking that pitch. Just sweet execution. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. The give is to Williams. Stuffed almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And wings it incomplete. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Off the play fake. And there was no for this quarterback and down he goes when it's a play action pass that quarterback he really has to sell the fake he can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake he had no shot LSU will bring the punt team on the field Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David. Now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple of throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Got it behind the line. It's Bentley. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Rebels will bring the punt team onto the field. Fair catch called for and made. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. The give is to Williams. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. It's been a defensive battle through the first period, and the stats tell that tale. Well, based on that, we can hope to see a little more offensive explosion here in the second quarter as we get ready to get things started. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Let's see what call they have on third and long from the 28. Back to throw. It's Nussmeyer. Looking for a deep man. And how about that DB getting a hand in there and forcing the incomplete pass? Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. Signals for the fair catch and hauls it in just shy of the 30. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask. Right? And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Well, that's a phenomenal individual effort getting that sack. What a dominant play. And I'll tell you, playing here at Death Valley, a play like that now is going to get this crowd hyped up. And that's something as an opposing quarterback you do not want. Take it from me. I know it from experience. I remember my true freshman year playing at night here in Death Valley. That was the first time in my life I understood what the term hostile environment meant. This place is... And the defense gets loose, bringing the heat, and down he goes again. Pretty nice as a defense, right? When you can go nickel, put five DBs on the field, and not have to blitz anyone, trusting your front four to get the job done on third down, and they do it right there, getting the sack. 
The Rebels decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Now, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punt. Catch in the middle, it's Thomas. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Just what this offense was looking for. Sets him up at the 26 for the first down. LSU moving the ball quickly down the field. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense gets set for second down. To throw, it's Nussmeyer. Fires and picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. At the 30. Pass to 10. And he's going to score on the interception. Touchdown, Ole Miss. The DB saw it. He thought, don't drop it, don't drop it. Then thought, don't get caught, don't get caught. And he didn't. The pick six. Hey, these guys can play offense, too, now. Look at this. I showed you I can be a wide receiver. Coach might split them out at wide receiver next week after making that big play. But defense, great job making the interception. And you're right, doing something with it. Don't just slide down. Don't be content. Take that thing all the way back, brother. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, a couple of ranked teams having at it this week, and take a look at what's going down. USC is currently ahead early in this one inside the Coliseum. But unlike the days of Reggie Bush and Matt Leiter, they just haven't been able to pull away. They're up by a field goal over Penn State. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Finds his man. It's Hilton. They make the stop trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. And you've already set your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. LSU will bring the punt team on the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shop. Opening play of this drive comes from the 34. Quarterback on the keeper. Picks up the first down. And he's brought down after a nice game. And the Rebels are in the hurry up. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football. And that's why the option's a good idea. Because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle and he's very difficult to catch. As you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Back to pass, it's dark. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Rebels will line up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. What a terrible, terrible shame. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Boy, a three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together. Here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this one. 
Trying to move them on the counter. Didn't get much done on that run. He'll fight his way out and maybe, maybe pick up a yard. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Setting up the screen. And that one looked great on the grease board, but when they blow it up like that, the defense is going to win every time. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's Watkins. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Pocket starts to collapse. Got it in the middle, it's Daniels. Makes the catch and knock down. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. Here's a quick throw out to the left. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He found open space. The band might as well start playing. Really nice job working the route, getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. Lining up for the PAT. Blitz the uprights. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. Here's the return from inside his 10. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I think up front, they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the running game has gone in the wrong direction. The offense tries to turn it around and go forward on third down. And the Rebels will punt it away on fourth down. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. He'll aim it toward the sideline to try to make it tough on the return team. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. The give is to Williams. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. We'll take a quick break here. Two minutes to play in the first half. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. He's right on target. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Line getting set on second down. Using the quick game. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Grabbed over the middle, it's Thomas. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. They're trying to get to it. And it's incomplete. It was wild high and wide on that one. Second and ten after the previous play. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They're bringing heat. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The defense going to stop the clock with a the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. 
And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. Field goal is good. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. Putting up the three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half. So find something really quick that you can go to. To the air. It's dark. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Trying to find his man on first down. Fires to the wideout. It's complete! And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And they take another look at the play, but the officials on the field were right, and the play will stand. And the quarterback is toast back at the 35. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. On second down, he's looking downfield. And just not enough field to hold that one. It's incomplete. And with just a few seconds remaining here in the first half, they'll try to kick a field goal. He's going to reach for a long one, a 52-yard attempt. Never a doubt. And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half. Played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect, but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm each side sort of licking their wounds right now but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half that said let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest let's see what he can do with the return really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. lsu will dive into the playbook here on offense the sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing, that get that one positive play, and then maybe you get those juices going, then something can start to build. Great pickup as they'll keep this drive moving and they've got it at the 45. LSU with the first and 10 here. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Pass on the way. It's picked off. 
Those kind of plays can be huge for momentum. Even with the short return, they're set up at the 45. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why you play defense, because you don't have hands? Yeah. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Caller, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space, see if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play, and it breaks this trend. With the run on first and goal. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. Now second and goal and right in the teeth of this noise. He'll keep it himself. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. So loud it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Complete and looking for enough for the first down. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. And here in the third quarter, it is still a tie ball game. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over. Move it behind. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. LSU quick to the line. It's a really nice play there. The thing about this guy, he forces the defense to have to stay disciplined. He just can't take a play on. He reminds me of an old LSU quarterback that I used to play against, Herc Tyler. He was a guy that could hurt you throwing the ball, but he was also shifty and he could extend plays. We had a great defense in Florida, full of NFL dudes, but he just never let you feel comfortable because of his athleticism and his dynamic ability. This guy has a little bit of that, too. Tackle was made, but not until he gets the first down. The Tigers are marching down the field. Caught in the backfield. It's Lacey. And the defense coming with bad intentions. They knock him down for a loss. Looking to pass on second down. Makes a grab over the middle. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. How aggressive will they get on first and 10? Death Valley has a well-earned rep of being intimidating. It is nice to be the quarterback to have everything on your side. And have everything quiet. It's the loudest place by far that I ever played. I mean, for an entire game, they are on their feet, yelling, screaming. Now listen, we can't play all the words they're yelling, Reese but they are an intimidating crowd. He's got it on the run. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. The Tigers have it in scoring position on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, LSU! And that one will give them the lead. That was a great example of a running back toting the rock with conviction. There's not a lot of time to hesitate. If you see a split second, you see a hole, you've got to hit it right now. Nice job by the RB there. Finding up to add another. And 
and the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Arizona State is just getting blown off the field right now. We've seen big games in Tempe over the years. I've personally never seen anything like this. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. They're trailing by 17 to Utah. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. Grab behind the line. It's Watkins. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. The Rebels will hustle to the line. They'll leave it with him. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The punt team makes its way onto the field. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the punt team able to smack him to the ground. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. From the gun, give on the inside. Sometimes you wonder if rivals really don't like each other. This guy sure doesn't like anybody on the other side. He's tackling everybody. And that's the kind of defender I want. The guys who don't like people. They love collisions. They love to throw their body around Jesse. He's been all over the field. And this guy's good week in, week out, right? But in this game, he just seems like he's more dialed in. And he's playing at a different intensity level right now than I think anybody else on the field. Listen, you've you got to be able to know what protocol and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next game. Caught in the backfield, it's Thomas. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Now on third down for this offense. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Caught behind the line, it's Williams. Just couldn't find any room, and he wound up throwing it in reverse. They lost yardage. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. And this one splits the uprights. And that will extend their lead even further. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. Though. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Well, it's a nice job, too, of the quarterback after the play fake there, getting his eyes down the field. He had to get that to his tight end quickly, knowing he wasn't going to have a lot of space to run with after the catch. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that pass kicked off. How about that? Making a play and setting up your offense inside the 40 at the 39. Well, I love the job by the coaching staff there defensively, matching the personnel of the offense, putting their dime package out on the field. So you bring out the extra defensive back, you're anticipating a pass, perfect timing to run that personnel, and you get the pick. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. 
They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but they've got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. And I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Reacted well to the tip, but just couldn't squeeze the football. Instead of the turnover, it'll be third down. Scanning the field, it's Nussmeyer. Going to try to get it himself. On the move at the 30. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle, it's Taylor. Nice quick throw there. It's so important for quarterbacks to be able to find the rhythm and to be comfortable and confident. You want to just get the ball out quickly, make it an accurate and easy throw. And you can tell that these two guys, they rep that play in practice all the time, and it's now showing up here on game day. Guys, LSU has the lead here. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. This offense has a second down play. Now the play fade. Pressure coming. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? LSU moving quickly, going to work again on first down. He's got it, and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger. They add on another one, and they're about to push their record to 5-1. and one. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. The returner will field it and bring it back. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Looking downfield, it's Dart. Works the middle. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry up. How about the job by this defense today? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. From the gun, wants to pass. And that third down pass had some serious juice, but they couldn't hook up. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. They'll pull it on the read. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. He'll do it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. The give to the tailback. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. And the last thing they need is to squander this great field position facing a third and long. They'll keep it on the ground. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. Kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. And now the lead is extended a little far. They keep pushing. 
pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They were really aggressive going for it in their own end last time and put them in a tough spot there. Yeah, aggressive, reckless. They got to find the balance with this offense to really be productive. And last possession they went for it, they rolled the dice, Palmer, and it didn't work out for them. Yeah, if you're better on third down moving forward, though, you can keep yourself out of those situations. Third down coming up after the completion. They'll try to power their way ahead. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. Down by multiple possessions, they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. The Rebels want to move quickly. Fourth and inches anywhere on this field. I don't care if it's in the red zone on your own goal line. If you have their offensive line, I'm going for it. And you just saw it right there. Get it done. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll go to the ground. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. The offense in hurry-up mode. Looking for space. It's Batley. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and 10. Grab behind the line. It's Diggs. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Looking for a man. It's dark. The pass is incomplete, but there's a flag in the backfield, and that shot the quarterback took might have been a little too much. Late hit on the quarterback gives this offense a free first down and some yardage. Out of the gun, the inside kick. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Four wide out set, two on either side on second and ten. The give from the gun. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. It'll be a run on third and short. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives them momentum. Quarterback on the keeper. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Second and goal coming up. Direct snap. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Rebels! This running back was not going to be denied. Nice blocking up front to create a hole for this running back, and he was able to take advantage. He'll try to tack on one more. Bangs it through for an extra point. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Guys, let's get you up to speed on what's going down in this fun college football game today. Fresno State is getting whooped today. At some point, this comes down to preparation. Are you prepared to play? Clearly, the answer today is a big, fat no. They'll run the option. They're trailing by 14 to Washington State. 
Any big developments in this one, we've got you covered with the best studio team in the business, gentlemen. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They get him up rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Strong safety blitzes can sometimes be hard to see coming from a quarterback standpoint because we're used to seeing the strong safeties insert themselves into the box, but you don't oftentimes see them blitz like that. That can be tricky to watch. A third and long coming up here. Back to throw, it's Gus Meyer. Finds his big tight end. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. Quick release by the QB. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Throws to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. LSU moving the ball quickly down the field. They'll keep it on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Just feeds the running back. Oh, he just held it poorly, and it's a fumble. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. That's what I'm talking about. Keep fighting, right? This game ain't over yet. Like, you still got an opportunity. Does it look good? No. But now, I got the ball back. Great job by the defense, forcing the turnover. Now, let's see if we can go out and make this thing interesting, put some plays together, maybe get an onside kick. Who the heck knows? And the Rebels want to crank the tempo. Dialing up a second down pass play. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. On fourth down, trying to find his man. Fires in the traffic, picked off. Just a short return, but that would have been icing on the cake. They've got it first down at the 42. And that's a really good job by the defense, understanding the situation of football. It's fourth down. It's late in the game. You've got a multi-possession lead. Take away all the deep stuff. Make them force the football into coverage. They do, and they stamp this game. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. Ball security always paramount. That football must be riveted to your rib cage, Jesse, and it wasn't last time. And look, he knows that that happens again. He's going to find himself on the sideline. So this is going to be a dude very motivated to make some plays on this ground. Yeah, and I think it's it's frustrating, but you got to put it behind you. you got to move on. And this offense has to go through him anyway. You've got to be able to run the football and have some balance. Brought down, but looks as if LSU will pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll keep it himself. And this one will be stopped for no gain. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. LSU getting set on first and ten. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Dances away again. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave him a little bit of everything on that one. The defense uses their second timeout of the half as they try to get their act together. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And they can't punch it in with a first down run. And the defense has one stop. The defense uses a timeout. They want to make sure they have the right call here. Trying to run it in. 
That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. If they can pay off this third and goal with a touchdown, it might be getting a little tough to swallow over there on the other sideline. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Fourth and goal from the three, and the offense will stay out there and try to finish the deal. He'll pull it on the read. Tried to fight his way in, but they get him on the ground at the two, and it's a fourth and goal stop. From his end zone, he'll have to get rid of it. Coming, pressure got to him, couldn't get rid of it, and they got him for a safety. A lot of things had to happen for this offense to get back in the game, but how about the defense? The defense said, no, sir. We're going to end this one right now. Makes the big play, gets the safety. Not only they score points, they get the football back, and the clock is on this side. The defense just ended this football. Game. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. Bringing it back, it's Durham. Nice return there, and he'll be dragged down at the 34. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. This is why the passion of college football runs so deep. The rivalries. And when you lose, man, does it stick with you. No doubt about it, Reese. This was a game circled for a very, very long time. They knew how important this one was. But, David, you can't let games like this beat you twice because this losing team now has to find a way to rebound and go out and play again. No doubt, got a rebound, but this one stings. This is the one that you have circled for a reason. It's it's a rival. It's bragging rights, but you're right. Let's let's get back to practice this next week. Let's start focusing. This one's over, but I'm gonna get you next year. That's gonna do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team. I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.